Howdy folks. Well today the goal is to get rid of my nut sedge. I've got some nut sedge scattered throughout my lawn just like this. But the main place where I have nut sedge is all around the outside of my lawn. The place where you've seen me talk about where I need a fringe drain. That's the place that stays super wet all the time unless it's really dry like it has been just this past couple weeks. But with all that damp soil the nut sedge loves it and there's yellow nut sedge, purple nut sedge, I think it's Kalinga, I'm not exactly sure. I'll show you this little like really thin stuff that I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's all in the same family. So I'm gonna try to kill it with this stuff and we'll see how it works anyway. But I'm kind of wondering what's the best way to get rid of nut sedge. I'll be spraying it more in the future. I think it's almost impossible to get rid of all of it. You have to like repeat applications, especially with as damp as this soil stays. So I wanna find out which one's the best, at least of the readily available ones. So this is one that I just had lying around. Image kills nut sedge. And the image I have around, well, for nut sedge, but also it kills Poeana. So in the winter, it's kind of nice to kill off that stuff. And then I got this stuff off Amazon, Ortho Nut Sedge Killer. So this stuff is the hose in sprayer. You just stick it on there and then spray it around. This is supposed to cover, I think it's 5,000 square feet. And Coven Carlson used this stuff on his lawn. It seemed to work pretty well for him. So I'm gonna compare it with that also. And then Certainty. Now Certainty is not as common just to have lying around. This is a way more expensive, more professional grade product. This is what I originally got to kill off my nut sedge. And I was like, hey, I'll just do a comparison video and kind of see how all of this relates. This is expensive, but this tiny little bottle will last you forever because you only need a tiny little bit of this stuff mixed into a sprayer to cover a whole lot of space. So let's go. Let's go. Let's go. show you here like I said it's kind of mostly along the edges of my yard this is where I need to do the French drain because there's kind of a ditch going all along the outside of my yard and that's where the nut sedge loves it it loves that damp soil so let me show you let's get in here close so we've got some yellow nut sedge and that's the stuff that when you kind of squeeze it in your fingers you can see that it's sort of rigid and it has like a a triangular sort of shape to it there's a ridge down the middle and if you roll it in your finger it's tough you can kind of feel that little ridge going down the middle it also just has this pretty characteristic appearance and you get to know what that looks like over time if you have as much as I do. But this one's a little more tough. It's just very thin, almost looks like, like wild onion or something, but I don't think that's wild onion. It definitely doesn't smell like onion. No. Pops up in all the same places that nut sedge does, so I'm guessing it's in the same family. I was looking up pictures of purple and yellow nut sedge and I just don't, I don't know if that fits the description. So somebody out there who knows more than I do, tell us what this stuff is. We're gonna see how the product works on it anyway, and so then if you comment and tell us what it is, then we'll know how whatever these three products are, kill this as well. So I've got a few major spots outside of my lawn that have really dense concentrations of nut sedge, and those are the places I'm gonna to use to test the three products. I actually have flags that I'm gonna label, so I'm gonna actually put those in the ground so I know which product I used where. Yes, I'm that forgetful, but at least we'll be able to see for sure which product I sprayed in which place, and these are the ones we're gonna evaluate. We're gonna have you know, a spot over by the chipping green, one spot here in between these two ugly, nasty, dying flower beds. Ignore those, those are coming out this fall. And then the other one that I showed you just a minute over there. So here I found some nut sedge that's way too tall and it's actually sticking up and has the seed head sticking out so you can see what that looks like. But that is nut sedge, folks. And then here's all that little thin stuff that I don't really know what it is, but we're gonna see if the stuff that I have kills it anyway. It's actually kind of pretty. I think if you had a whole area of this, it could be kind of cool, but I don't want that uh, in my yard. So I'm just arbitrarily choosing to go with the hose in sprayer first, the Ortho Nut Sedge Killer, and I'm gonna use that here on the backyard since like I said, I do have a little bit poking out of the grass here and there, and that's about 5,000 square feet, so this is gonna work perfect. And then I'll measure out in the backpack sprayer the certainty and the image. So let's get started. But first. And by the way, I'll be sure to have all the affiliate links for the products in the description below, you know, for your purchasing pleasure. Okay, so quick thoughts on the Ortho Nut Sedge Killer. It was really convenient. If that stuff works, I don't think the convenience can be beat because you just hook it up to the end of the hose and walk around. Um, pretty simple. So, so let's label our Ortho spot right here and move on to the next one. Next, let's go for the image in this section here. 
So some tidbits of information for you. The image, Kills Nuts Edge, is supposed to be watered in, at least you know within a week after applying it, whereas the ortho uh, hose-in sprayer and the certainty don't say anything about watering it in. In fact, the certainty says to apply it foliarly, so apply it to the leaf blade, not to soak anything. Um, so there's just a different way that these things kill the nut sedge. You gotta pay attention to those little subtleties and just know which one you're dealing with, which one you're using. Read the label, make sure you're using it according to everything that it says in the directions. There are also different timelines as far as killing the stuff. On the image, um, it says that it's gonna take one to two weeks before you see yellowing and then three to four weeks before total kill. Uh, I'll have to look up the others and I'll put those in here. I'll put like little subtitles going across right here that tell you how long it takes for the certainty. It takes this long, at least on the label, I'll look it up. And then for the ortho hosen sprayer, it says that it takes about this long to kill the nuts edge. So there you go. The mix rate for image is 2.5 fluid ounces per gallon of water. So that is the image, and I'm gonna put my little image flags out here. I've got a couple places that I put image where one of them's overlapping, not really overlapping, just kind of creeping behind the flower bed where it was in the middle of where I put the ortho nut sedge killer. So that's why I'm labeling a couple different places. You don't care. All right, so we will have to water that image in and right now rinse out the backpack sprayer so that the certainty doesn't get any of the image in there. We don't want it to have an unfair advantage, do we? So for the certainty, they like to make it nice and complicated. They've got three different application rates you can use. I'm gonna use the middle one, um, which is one ounce of product per acre, um, which is four small scoops, which comes with the product here, uh, per two gallons of water. So yeah, four of the small scoop, which is 0.16 grams. Look how tiny that thing is. This stuff must be pretty potent. Wow, that is going to last forever. I can see why it's so expensive. That tiny little bottle is gonna last, yeah, forever. I don't even know. Like that barely took anything out of here. Crazy. Okay, just in case this didn't record, when you're using certainty, make sure to use a surfactant. And we'll label the area of certainty right around here. Yep. Now we get to wait for the results, like three weeks or something. We'll see. Okay, so it's been four days since we did the initial application of all of our nut sedge killing products. Let's see what the results are looking like. So this is our image patch image and it looks like it might be yellowing just barely maybe um, that's kind of tough to tell there's a little bit more of this over here that maybe maybe this is getting a little more yellow um, but not not much now it just rained today it rained like all day today an image remember has to be rained in or watered in so if that just happened today we probably expect the results to start happening now so we'll, we'll follow up on that one later. Now the ortho we did here on the main part of the backyard, a special guest came and mowed my yard this week and so cut down some of that nut sedge so there's not perfect places to show you over here. I still have some in the yard I can show you that didn't get cut down by the mower. So this right here, this was with the ortho. So the ortho seems to be doing some damage after four days. We've got some stuff turning brown here. And then the main ortho patch here, and this stuff, like I told you, I wasn't sure if it was gonna die, because I'm honestly not sure if this is nut sedge or not. It's dying, it's turning brown, definitely getting yellow. So we'll see if it can kill it off completely after, I don't know, another week or so, week or two maybe. And another thing to keep in mind is that some of these will require multiple applications. So, well, I don't know if I'd say require, that it may require multiple applications. It'll say that on the bottle, so there's, there's that too. And here we are at the certainty test patch. The nut sedge over here, so I mean, there's nut sedge right beside the flag, and it does not look like it's uh, suffering one bit. This stuff all looks totally fine. Um, and this stuff over here that the ortho nut sedge killer was doing some damage. The 
certainty doesn't seem to be having much effect. But again, we'll give it some more time because most of the products said that they were gonna take something more like two or three weeks. So we'll see. And here we are, two weeks later. I wanna come out and finish this video before it starts raining on me. So let's go. Here's the image section and it killed this thin stuff. It's all turning pretty brown. And the nut said it's looking pretty yellow. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to put something to compare it to, I guess. Here we go. Here's part that's still kind of green. If you compare, this is what it normally looks like, the green color. Everything else is getting kind of yellow and dying. So, image works. Another image section here, more dying nut sedge. Good stuff. And here is the ortho plot. That ortho stuff works pretty good. This is pretty darn brown, and it's been that way for a while. This stuff started working within, like, I don't know, three days or so. It started turning brown, so ortho works pretty quick. That's that thin stuff. Here's some actual nut sedge in the ortho section, and it is getting brown and dying. Uh, kind of the same thing as the image. Ortho works. And now for certainty. Here is the certainty section. Same thing, kind of turning brown and dying. That's the thin stuff. And then here's some actual nut sedge in the certainty section. It is dying. I accidentally mowed down some of the nut sedge in the certainty section. But from what I had heard, people said that some of this stuff works really slow, and so you won't really notice that it's working until you've mowed and the stuff just kind of doesn't come back. So let's zoom in. That seems to be exactly the case. Mow over some of that nut sedge, and it's just brown, and I don't think it's going to be coming back anytime soon. So I know, kind of anticlimactic for our little competition here between the three products, but I feel like that's a good thing because now you know you can use any of them and they'll all work. In conclusion, the ortho works faster, but the nut sedge will die no matter what you use. Maybe the ortho is a little easier also, but the certainty is probably the cheapest because you're buying it in bulk. Basically, that little bottle will last probably forever. So, it's really windy right now. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. What's that sound? Somebody mowing my yard. Hey, who's this yay hoo?